Hi, Mrs. Nita here with Heroes Mount Homeschool Academy. Welcome to your first day of grade one mathematics class. It's so good to have you here. Hi, how are you doing today? I hope you're doing very well. It's really nice to have you here. We are, um, like I said before, this is mathematics grade one. And if you are familiar with Heroes Mount Homeschool Academy lesson videos, you're very familiar with the structure. In today's lesson, we are going to, our agenda is do a numbers review, numbers one through 20, with their spelling. So we want to make sure you're able to identify and spell the um, the words, the numbers. And I think that by doing that, it'll position you to do very well throughout the rest of this year. Let's begin with the word of prayer and we'll move right along into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others love we show. Pleasing you is our goal, not to our lesson we should go. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Um, well, if you have your workbook, you may turn to your morality creed, which we will cite at the very beginning of every mathematics lesson. Um, the morality creed is on page four in your workbook if you have that. And just repeat it after me, or if you haven't, alongside, you just repeat with me. Say it along with me. I believe in Jesus Christ the Messiah who died and was resurrected from the dead to save humanity from sins. He is my Lord, Master, Boss, and Savior. I love God, I love myself, and I love others with the God kind of love. I believe the Bible is inspired by the Spirit of God and is the basis for morality, rights, and wrongs. I look to the Spirit of God to understand God's intent behind every letter of the Bible. I abide by this intent, and I live to honor God in thought, in word, and in deed. I believe there is a heaven to gain and a hell to shun. Father, please give me grace and mercy to please you more. This is my morality creed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. That is the Morality Creative Heroes Smart Homeschool Academy. We say at the beginning of every mathematics lesson. And you will, I'll have you know that um, for almost 300 years, public schools all over the country recited a creed very similar to that. And they recited it for the lessons and it positioned them to have a great time in the presence of the Lord as they studied. So we don't ever want to remove that part that element out of our lessons because it'll help you in your development and your uh, Christian development and in your natural development as you grow in the things of God and as you learn. So always uh, appreciate the morality created and, and believe it with your heart. Okay, so we are going to be doing a numbers review. You can find this if on your workbook, the very first page, page eight. This is week one, day one. What we're going to do is just go through and spell uh, each of the numbers. That way uh, we're familiar with the spelling. So this is the number one. And do you know how to spell one? O-N-E. Good. One. Two is T-W-O. Three, T-H for the sound. R E E three four is F O U R four five is F I B E five six is S I X six seven is S E B E N seven Eight is E I G H T. Eight. Nine is N I N silent E. Nine. Ten is T T E N. Ten. Eleven is E L E V E N. Eleven. Twelve. Twa, that's T W, then E L V E, 12. 13, once again, the sound, I R T 
E, E, N. 13. 14 is four, which we know how to spell four, plus teen, T, E, E, N. 15 is F, I, F for fifth. Teen is T, E, E, N, teen. 16 is six, as you've seen, plus teen, T, E, E, N, teen. 17 is seven, as we've seen before, S-E-V-E-N, plus teen, T-E-N, teen. 18 is eight, as we've seen, plus E-N, E-E-N. You do not have to double the T. 19 is nine, N-I-N-E, silent E, plus teen, T-E-E-N, teen. 20 is tw, that's T-W, plus N-T, 20. So this is um, how to spell, this is how you spell numbers one through 20. Um, and you can also see that in your workbook. You wanna make sure you know how to spell these very well. It should be second nature. By now, we've been practicing our spelling of uh, numerals since pre-K, haven't we? So I trust you've mastered it by now, but we just wanted to do a quick review um, that way we have this um, really solid in our understandings because you'll be using it for the rest of the grade year. That should help you to uh, complete um, part one of the lesson. Also, to finish part two very well, if you want to reference this board, the numbers of the board will help you organize the numbers. Once again, this is pretty much just review, so you should know how to put the numbers in order. But in the event you don't, or if you're still sort of struggling with that, uh, feel free to use the information on the board. And the same thing is true with part three, question three, fill in the missing numbers. You'll want to just reference the board. The number that follows nine is 10. The number that follows four is five. So you can just continue to use that. Well, thank you so much for coming to class today. It's been a really great lesson with you. And until next time, God bless. I'll be your hero's body And as you study With heroes born I will be your friend So don't you